Welcome to a very secret corner of Goodwood, the home of Rolls-Royce Motorcars. It's here in our dedicated coach build facility that the first expression in the next chapter of our contemporary coach building movement was hand crafted. La Rose Noir drop tail represents a bold, daring and sophisticated personal expression inspired by the black Baccarat rose. Now as a design team, the significance of creating the only modern interpretation of the rose to body style was not lost on us. In many ways, we felt liberated to fundamentally re-examine the tenets of Rolls-Royce design. And that is perhaps no more evident than here with the interpretation of our iconic Pantheon grille. For the first time in the Mark's history, the normally upright and straight veins are actually inclined here at the top with this kinked impression. And this kink, together with the deeply recessed headlamps, creates this strong, heavy brow impression to the front of the car. Now, also down in these lower corners, where we would typically have a rectangular conclusion to the grill, we have introduced for the first time a chamfer. And this chamfer, together with the deep drawer, projects a more functional aesthetic to the grill that is familiar with the Roadster concepts of old. What you will also notice here is a unique finish to the grille treatment itself that also extends to all of the metalwork across the exterior. And here we actually developed an entirely new technological finish, which we've named Hydroshade. As we move to the flanks of the car, you can see how we have been guided by the pursuit of reduction in paring back the surfaces and what remains is executed with a level of clarity that can only be achieved with a hand-built coach-built motor car. In the lower areas is a unique lower intake that also carries the color of the exterior paint, True Love. So as touched on, La Rose Noire is inspired by the black Baccarat Rose. Native to France and beloved by the mother of the commissioning family, its deep pomegranate hue and velvet-like quality uh, is transformed under intensive light to show accents of red. Now, in side view, we can immediately appreciate the unique stance the drop tail carries, particularly its proportions. In the first instance, you have a very short front overhang, but also a strong rearward inclination to the face of the car. In the rear, we have a more compact overhang than we are typically used to seeing on Rolls Royces. But perhaps more profoundly, you have this extremely generous body side section to a very shallow windscreen proportion. This visually pushes the occupants deep down inside the interior, cosseting and protecting them, a particular attribute of a Roadster body type. What you will also notice is a general distillation and purification to the form. Here, together with the clients, we were insistent that the surfaces must remain uninterrupted. Typically, we would find the Rolls-Royce monogram together with the indicator in this area on the car. And we took the unprecedented step of integrating the indicator into the forward area of the door handle. And also taking the Rolls-Royce badge and for the first time in its history, deconstructing it and visually representing it here with this beautiful silhouetted double RR executed with the ingot and laid atop the sail cowl elements. Now, as we come to the rear of drop tail, we can immediately appreciate the strong impression of sculpture, particularly the taper towards center line. The view is dominated by this transom surface, which in many ways mimics the construct of a yacht. It also serves as an uninterrupted canvas for the placement of these jewel-like rear tail lamps. And while highly modern in their execution here, they actually serve as a historic nod to the early Roadster-bodied Rolls Royces. The dynamic nature of the Roadster body is also evident in the proportion of the lower diffuser element that establishes the width, particularly the rear track of the car. This is, of course, a driver's car, and therefore there are demands aerodynamically placed on this rear area. Now we were able to, let's say, develop and work with these uh, demands by creating an aerodynamically sculpted profile in this rear deck area, which together with this floating element here, provides the downforce for the car when it's traveling at speed. And as we follow the cow line back up, we arrive at the interior where we can immediately appreciate the three key design gestures. The first is the shawl element that takes the line that develops off the front of the grille, comes rearwards into the waist rail before then enveloping the two occupants and cosseting them. 
This provides the level of romance, the level of intimacy that one would expect with a two-seater proposition. Secondly, you can see the center console plinth, this beautiful elliptical element that is more akin to what you would expect to find in an architectural space rather than in an automotive one. And this element sits high, again giving the impression that the occupants are deep down and protected within the cabin space. And the final gesture is, of course, the instrument panel, reflecting the materials and the colors of La Rose Noir, in particular, the inclusion of the red accent together with the high precision metalwork, but as a first for us, also the incorporation of the parquetry into the center needle coins of the dials themselves. By way of the client's request, we work together with Audemars Piguet to produce and integrate one of their unique high complication timepieces into the fascia panel of the car itself. But moreover, fulfill the exacting wishes from the client that it should also be wearable on the wrist. Now, when the client is to enter the car, they can then remove the timepiece and place it into the clasp holder here, where it will retreat back into the instrument panel and the straps can be stowed separately. And then, of course, to the real showpiece of La Rose Noir. The simple request from the client was to create the impression of floating roses as if they had been scattered across the interior by hand. Here, there's this beautiful merger between the tried and tested techniques of an age-old practice of parquetry with an achingly modern design that represents an abstract depiction of the rose petals. These triangular elements are made up of 1,603 individual pieces. It took three years to move from the formative development through to the production of the piece that you see in here. Now this highly contemporary depiction of the rose petals is not just exclusive to the interior. We actually bring the theme out onto the aft deck here. Now interestingly, we execute it with a completely different technology, pulling on the very best skills within our paint area. Here, the artisans depicted 96 individual rose petals, executed in the true love paint that we find on the main flanks of the car, building on the foundation of the mystery base layer. But more interestingly, they're all hand stenciled and hand sprayed, but done so in a way, as the client insisted, that there could be no visible detection between the surfaces to understand that they had been applied by hand. With the roof fitted, drop tail is transformed from a lithe open top roadster into a dramatic and formidable looking coupe. Here as a design team, we actually studied 1930s hot rods from the West Coast to appreciate the generous body side section to the very shallow glass proportion in here, together with the fast and accelerating roof line here. This was actually a feature that the commissioning client of La Rose Noir drop tail pushed us further with to really exaggerate the speed and the length of the line work, pulling it as far rearward as it could possibly go before truncating it here at the rear, mimicking the treatment of the cap roofs on 1920s Rolls-Royce Roadsters. And here we pioneered a large application of glass, a beautiful uninterrupted and rather pure treatment here that sits across the entire upper surface of the roof itself. Now, while that is impressive, the real ingenuity is that it incorporates electrochromatic technology, allowing the client at the touch of a button to transform from an opaque sun-shaded protection to complete translucency, taking in the view up and out of the cabin of the car. Our contemporary movement of coach build is about creating something artful that has real meaning. La Rose Noir drop tail is glamour distilled imbuing the personal passions and distinctly bold visions of the commissioning couple. And it is all the more extraordinary for it. It is an elevated statement of true connoisseurship.